In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the triangle sum theorem to find missing angle measures in a triangle. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to say that you can find missing angle measures using the triangle sum theorem. So what is the triangle sum theorem? It states that the sum of the angle measures of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So if we have angle X, and we add angle Y, and then we add angle Z, it will always add up to 180. Always. A couple of things you need to know about triangles are that you can classify them by the size of their angles or the lengths of their sides. So if a triangle has two congruent sides, that means two sides that are equal in measure, we call it an isosceles triangle. And in an isosceles triangle, the two base angles are always congruent. That means that they are the same size. In an equilateral triangle, all three sides are congruent. In addition, all three angles are congruent. Let's get started. In the first two examples here, they ask you to find the measure of the X angle, and they ask you to classify the triangle. So a triangle can be classified as acute, right, or obtuse, depending on the measures inside. If all of the measures are less than 90, then you have an acute triangle. If one of the angles is exactly 90, you have a right triangle. And if one of the angles is o greater than 90, you have an obtuse triangle. So let's see how this triangle theorem works. I have three angle measures, and if I say that if I add them all together, they should all s always sum to the same number. Do you remember what it was? That's right, 180 degrees. Now I can put these three angles in any order. So I can put the X first, second, or third, it doesn't matter. But I always need to combine like terms, and I always need to use a property of equality to get my variable by itself. So in example A, the red triangle here, X is equal to 102 degrees. So if I look at my angles, I have an angle that's 28, an angle that is 50, and now I know I have an angle that's 102. So this is an obtuse triangle. Let's take a look at letter B. What are the three angles we see here? Well, one of them is 59, and one of them is X, but this one we don't have a number. But we do have a symbol, and that's important because 59 degrees plus X degrees plus our mystery angle is 90. That box always represents 90 degrees. So combine like terms. Use your inverse property to get x by itself. So in this case, 180 minus 149 is 31 degrees. And since one of my angles is 90 degrees, then this is classified as a right triangle. All right, you think you're getting the hang of it? Why don't you try adding up these three angles, writing the algebraic sentence, and seeing if you can find your answer. Pause the video, and then turn it back on to check. The answer for number one is that the missing angle is 75 degrees. And with all of the angles being lower than 90, this is an acute triangle. And in question two, our missing angle was 91. 
So since it's greater than 91 degrees and not equal to 90 degrees, this is actually an obtuse triangle. All right, why don't you pause the movie and try three more? All right, let's check your answers. Did you notice that all three of these look like they're isosceles triangles? Except for this one. It actually has three congruent marks. That makes it equilateral. So I probably don't even need to do any math here. I already know that these are all going to be equal to 60, 60, and 60. Let's check your answers. How did you do? All right, a few more to go. Remember, when you're setting up your algebra here, it doesn't matter which order you put these three angles in. The x can be first, it can be second, or it can be last. But it always sums to 180 degrees. Don't forget to combine your like terms And then don't forget to use an inverse property. And that's how you'll find your missing angle measure. All right, this one's a little bit tougher. The directions ask us to find the measure of angles 1, 2, and 3. Now these are not their size, these are just their names. So you notice the ones that have degree signs, well that's the size of the angle. So if I look at this triangle here, I know that 67 degrees plus this mystery angle plus this mystery angle has to sum to 180, but I don't have enough information to find out what either one of these is. So right now, as it is, this triangle is unsolvable. I can't find these two measures. So I have to look for some other hints. And I see another triangle down here. So let's see if there's some hints in there. Well, it looks like there's a missing angle measure three and a right angle box. So that means that this angle is 90 degrees. Well, I don't think any of these clues right now help me to find one and two, but I certainly think I could find angle three because 48 plus 90 plus my mystery angle, 3, which I'm going to call x. They all have to add up to 180. So 138 plus x is equal to 180. Subtract 138 from both sides, and I get x is equal to 42 degrees. So that helped me find the measure of angle 3, Whoops, I'm going to write that differently. I need to say the measure of angle 3 and then an equal sign. The measure of angle 3 is 42 degrees. But how does knowing the three angles here help me to find any of these two there? Well, do you remember anything that we worked with the other day when we were talking about <coughs> angle measures? Do you remember that if two angles share a vertex and are opposite or across from each other, that they are vertical angles <coughs> and that vertical angles are equal? So that means if this is 48 degrees, then the measure of angle 2 is also 48 degrees. And if I fill that in, I think I can now find the measure of angle 1. So the measure of angle 1, which I will now call x, plus 67 plus 48 has to sum to 180. Combine like terms, oops, I always do that, x plus, use my subtraction property of equality, and I can find my missing angle measure. My missing angle measure is 180 minus 115, 
which is 65 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 is 65 degrees. And now I've answered the question. All right, take a look at this one last question. See my work, look at my inverse steps, because our next question is going to have a bit more algebra to it. All right, here we go. Find the value of x. Now there's a lot of x's here, but there's only three angles. One, two, three. And if I add those three angles together, first angle plus the second angle plus the third angle, it always equals 180. So I'm going to combine like terms. 4 plus 14 makes 18x. 18x plus 5 makes 23x. And don't forget to combine your constants. Now be careful here. That's a minus 5 and a plus 1. That gives us a minus 4. Use my inverse property. And then my multiplicative inverse here, which means I'm going to divide both sides by 23. Get your calculator ready. 184 divided by 23 is 8. Now this question says find the value of x, so I can stop here because x is equal to 8. Now that doesn't tell me how big these angles are, but the question didn't ask me that. It only asked me, what's the value of x? Now in this question, it's slightly different. It says find the missing angle measure. Well, there are three missing angles, A, B, and C. So again, I'm going to use my triangle sum theorem. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C always equals 180 degrees. Combine your x terms. And that gives us 18x. Combine your constants. And there are three of them this time. Now be careful. It's a minus 7, plus 4, and a minus 15. And that gives us a minus 18. Use your inverse property. Divide both sides by 18. And look carefully at what the question is asking. The question doesn't say find the value of x. It says find the missing angle measures. But I can't tell the missing angle measure unless I know what x is. So you have to show a little more work here. The measure of angle a is equal to 6 times x minus 7. And if x is 11, then angle A is 6 times 11 minus 7, which is 59 degrees. And the measure of angle B, which is over here, would be 3 times x plus 4. And if x is 11, then we're going to get 33 plus 4. And the third one is the measure of angle C. And that would be 9 times x minus 15. And if x is 11, then we're going to get 9 times 11 minus 15, which is 84 degrees. Now let's do a double check. Let's add these three together. 59 plus 37 plus 84 and let's make sure they sum to 180. And they do. Now I have found the missing angle measures. All right, that concludes our lesson on the triangle sum theorem. If you think you got the hang of it, finish this exit ticket and send me your solution.